Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. Today's talk is not really gonna have much to do with anything else I talk about on this channel. I usually talk about things that are topical to me at the time or that matter to me at the time. The lessons that I wish I had gotten when I was young or before I did the stupid things I did or thought the stupid things that I thought. And today is one of probably the more important lessons for me. I don't really know if there's much to learn from it, but it, it is something that makes me happier in hindsight than I think I would be without that lesson. So I thought I would share it with all of you. Most of my life I've realized that I never actually got what I wanted. And sometimes I wonder if having actually gotten what I wanted would have been a good thing at the time. It's easy to become depressed, anxious, aggravated, or start pitying yourself when you don't actually get what it is that you want. But sometimes I wonder if getting what I wanted would have been the worst thing for me of all. When I was younger, one of the things I wanted more than anything else is to simply have a home that I enjoyed going home to. And I didn't particularly have a home that I enjoyed going home to for a number of different reasons. And one of the things that I did as a result of that, instead of being my admittedly lazy self, I'm not a particularly hardworking person, I'm not someone that enjoys doing manual labor, or working 12 or 15 hours a day or any of that crap. It's really just something that I did because I wanted to be on my own. And I wanted to know that into the future, I would never be stuck in a situation that I I didn't want to be in like uh, other members of my family were so I started working all the time and I started you know trying to become like the doctor house of whatever it is that I was doing whether it was fixing old studio gear fixing Mac motherboards or whatever else so that I'd be able to ensure my independence and stability and sometimes I wonder if I had actually gotten what I had wanted a place that's fairly simple and easy to come home to if I had w would have just kind of Stayed at Modell's Sporting Goods, worked part-time a couple of hours a day, came home and just played new versions of Final Fantasy all day. When I was younger, one of the things that I wanted to become was a recording studio engineer. I wanted to be the person that was responsible for why this Dream Theater album sounds amazing, rather than this Dream Theater album, Dream Theater album sounding like shit, or this Rush album sounding amazing versus this Rush album that's a pile of clipping garbage. I wanted to be the person that was partially responsible for that. I thought it was incredible fun. And unfortunately, I didn't get what I want. I wasn't particularly great recording studio engineer. I wasn't particularly great when it came to dealing with musicians or just being social in general. And that's a very social job. You have to really be in touch and in tune with what everybody in the room wants. And I'm like very close to the spectrum of being socially autistic. So that's not something that particularly worked out very well. Now that not working out very well led to me working on the studio technician side where I'm working on gear rather than working on the actual albums. And when that didn't work out, which is one another thing that I wanted, I considered this the booby prize, fixing computers. And I do wonder if I had actually been good at that, would I have gotten to where I am here, where I'm taking something that a long time ago a lot of people thought is impossible to do or something you had to be a genius to do and tr coming up with a framework to make it accessible to people who are idiots just like me. And that's something that I've taken uh, a lot of pleasure in doing. It's something that I've had a lot of joy from when I meet people that say, you know, I barely got out of high school, but I fix boards. I figured if you can do it, so can I when I watch your stuff. And that's been something that I enjoy very much. I wanted my supply company to be very successful in 2010. I didn't want to run a repair company anymore. Running a repair company is hard. It's work. You got to scrape glass off things and use a soldering iron and all that other stuff. I wanted to just be able to sell screens and, you know, have somebody ship them and be done. And I tried to run a supply company and I did run it right into the ground within one year It went from having over six figures in inventory to negative seventeen thousand dollars in the bank And it just oh my god that that just absolutely blew up into bits and pieces And I finally ended up closing it in 2013 You may notice the coincidence in that year 2013-14 was the year that I started taking board repairs more seriously here Got all the equipment that was necessary to be able to do board repairs and film it for all of you And start trying to come up with a framework to make it easy for anybody to be able to follow along regardless of their electronics experience. I started developing a bit more of an on-camera personality, and I also developed my teaching skills and my ability to take a concept that would otherwise be advanced and be able to explain it to an eighth grader that was failing math and science in a manner where they could actually pick up where I left off and do the job with me. And I do wonder if that supply company was successful. Would I have actually fulfilled my purpose with what it is that I'm doing here? Most of the things that I would consider accomplishments in life, most of the things that I've done that other people would look at and go, wow, that's pretty cool, were not the things that I was actually striving for, nor were they even what I wanted to do. They were what I were doing because I failed at getting what I wanted somewhere else. I failed at something else that I was doing, so I ended up here. And had I simply thought of it in terms of, well, I failed, oh well, I'm done. I'm hanging it up. I'm 
you know, I didn't get what I, what I wanted, so I guess things suck, so I'm out of here. I probably would have not went on to the next thing or tried the next thing or just put the, the, that level of effort that was necessary into the backup option. And as a result of that, I may have not put effort into those options. And when I didn't put effort into those options, I may have just not actually figured out that there was a greater purpose for me and something that makes me happier to a greater extent than if I had actually gotten what I wanted. And uh, there are a lot of times where I've looked back on the last 11 years of my life, sometimes with some of the poor decisions I've made or the stupid things that I've done or the areas where I've screwed up, and I look back on them with intense shame, guilt, and regret at what could have been. But I also look back on it in terms of what if I had actually gotten what I wanted? If I had the type of household that I had wanted growing up, would I have worked more than two hours a day? Would I have actually had anything to look back on and be proud of? Because I pretty much, you know, really all I need is a roof over my head, speakers, and a place to play Final Fantasy, and I'm good. Uh, probably not. If I had become a recording studio engineer would I, or a technician in an industry where everybody has schematics for everything and parts are all available all the time, would I have really gotten involved with right to repair at all? If my, um, my, uh, my uh, supply company had done very well, would I have done board repair videos or even got into board repair videos? Again, part of the desire to do that was just to get out of repair in general, not have to fix things and, and pry broken glass or solder chips anymore and deal with that kind of stuff. Would I have actually made board repair videos that hundreds of people have emailed me on and say, thanks, I quit my crappy job at Walmart to do this. I never thought I would have been qualified to, but you know, again, no offense, but if an idiot like this could do it, then so could I. Um, and, and I look back on that fondly, knowing that me not getting what I wanted not only may have allowed me to serve a better purpose in life, may have actually gotten me closer to what I actually wanted versus what I thought I wanted, may have actually been healthier for me, but above all, uh, may have been the best thing that ever happened to me. So I would challenge you in those moments where you don't get what you want or where you're really kind of viscerally depressed because you really, really wanted something and you put all of your effort into this one thing and you couldn't get it to budge. That to th don't think of it in terms of, damn, I didn't get what I wanted. I give up. I'm going to challenge you in that moment to think of it in terms of, I didn't get what I wanted. Maybe that's the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Because for me, every single time something like that happened, it actually was. It took me several years to figure it out. It took me several years to have the wisdom to understand and realize that me not getting what I wanted in that moment, as painful as it was, was actually one of the better things that happened to me. And as I get into my mid-30s, luckily, thankfully, it's taking me a couple of days to figure that out rather than a couple of years, which is actually very important after the last month and a half that I've had. But it's something that I would challenge all of you to think about. When you don't get what you want, maybe there's a reason for it. And maybe if you consider that in the moment, it'll make it easier for you to pursue the next thing that may actually wind up being what you want, pursuing the next thing that may actually be where you were designed to have an impact on the world. You never know. It's worth thinking of it that way, I think. Even if you don't necessarily believe me, hey, beats being depressed and wallowing in self-pity over not getting what you wanted. I know that from experience. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.